Hello and welcome to MIP TV and with me is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy. He's a psychoanalyst and he... No, transaction analyst is boy. I'm a transaction analyst. Alex. I, I should have trained in psychoanalysis. That'd be much better. <laughs> All right, we'll go again. Today. I mean, I'm not a psychoanalyst. I'm a transaction analyst. I'll call, I'll call you a psychiatrist. In, in five, <laughs> four, three... Hello and welcome to MIP TV and today I'm with Bob Cook from Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy who is a transactional analysist yes. and uh, he'll be talking about a piece of theory in this section um, which is TA made simple he'll be talking about a, um, a theory in transactional analysis and we're going to be talking about four passive behaviours Bob what is four passive what are these passive behaviours what's going yeah, on yeah. they come from a uh, really make a, a passivity model. That's the best way to look at this, which comes from the, what is called the cathexis model of transaction analysis, which is, you know, we're not a particular school which is advocated much, but this particular theory, which is used a lot by modern day transaction analysts, comes from uh, Jackie Schiff and Mo Schiff. And it's a passivity model and talks specifically about four specific passive behaviors which are linked to discounting and symbiosis which is where i'm going to start okay so let's just get let's get the, the language uh clear here bob so discounting, <laughs> Thank you, well, discounting and symbiosis what's the what's the shorthand there bob okay symbiosis is where two people act as one right okay okay and discounting when you're discounting yourself uh others uh, existence and significance of solving problems okay so i'm going to guess that symbiosis you may see in couples therapy where yeah. where you, you where where the two people in a relationship but one cannot separate themselves from right. another rather like the ivy attached to the oak tree the each of them need yeah. each of them to survive yes yeah so you've got healthy symbiosis where the mother you know an infant and in a healthy symbiosis, when the infant is born, of course, the infant is dependent on, in transaction analysis terms, the parent and adult or ego state uh, to take care of the child's emotional and cognitive needs. Now, the unhealthy symbiosis is where the, very simply, the child doesn't grow up. Uh, the parent um, can keep them as an infant, uh, or the child looks after the parent who, uh, whose child is impaired as well. So either way, the two act as one, just as you said. And it replays, just as you said, in couples therapy particularly, where the two people find it difficult to separate out. Its genesis, though, comes from the early relationship with the mother and the child. Oh, how interesting. So... So effectively, these kind of behaviours can be kind of stored up from early childhood and replayed in later behaviours. Yeah, and so so basically, uh, let's just talk about these four passive behaviours, and then I'm going to talk about how uh, the unconscious motivation is to enact the symbiosis. Just hold that at the moment. I'm going to give them first of all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first one. Do, that's passive behavior doing nothing so the client that comes into your room and instead of um being coming from an adult place in the here and now and demonstrating their thinking or behaving in a here and now position they they do nothing in other words they're thinking uh, they block their thinking there's no problem solving there's no uh move to proactivity and the the um, really the actual, how can I explain this to you? The real um, seduction is for you to do the thinking and feeling for them. Mm. So the client passively just sits there and waits for you as the metaphoric parent to complete the transaction and take care of them and do the thinking and feeling for them. Yes. Yes. So, so that may look in the therapy room where the client looks forlornly at you in the hope that your yeah. words of wisdom will yeah. spur them into a happier existence. Correct. So you're doing the thinking and feeling for them. 
just as they wanted their original mother to do that. Mm. Okay, next one, and no particular linear order here, I'm just going through, um, is over adaptation. So that would be over adaptation to what they think the other, i.e. the therapist, wants or needs. Okay, so they will start to over adapt, please you, try hard, being strong, hoeing up, making cups of tea or whatever it is they think that you need. Yeah. Rather than uh, meeting their own goals. Yes. Yeah. So that, that could be a client who may bring gifts mm. or, or, or anything mm. to, or, or, or come in and say, Oh, you know, last week you told me to do this and I've done that. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you know. So, you know, in real life, it might be the client that's, you know, they want to go out shopping, but the wife says to them, oh, look, um, I really think it's important we mow the lawn today. So the, 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 the partner gets up and mows the lawn, rather than following their own goal through. They over-adapt with that thinking or feeling. They just yeah. over 